Frequent Miler on the Air starts now. Today's main event, Rocking Cyber Monday. We're going to get into the deals. What are we doing to really <laughs> get the most out of these, these crazy deals that are going on? And, and how are we kind of dealing with the overwhelming onslaught of all these opportunities? Boom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first, of course, we have the giant mailbag. And today we've got uh, mail from a reader uh, via email. Um, Again, I don't know whether he wanted this to be published, so I'm not going to say his name, but uh, the reader says he has the Bank of America rewards card with the 75% reward mm -hmm. tier. Uh, so that brings his cash back to 2.625% for all his Great spend. Great deal on that know. card, yep. And, yeah, so, you, you know, you have to have the Bank of America Premier Rewards card, and you have to have Platinum Honors with Bank of America to get that 75% bump. And that brings the total cash back to a whopping 2.62%. Anyway, he says, my county's tax assessor's office allows me to charge the property tax on credit card with a 2.35% fee. Uh, so in essence, um, by paying my property tax with this credit card, I'm getting a whopping 0.27% cash back, <laughs> right? That's it. That's earning a little so he's bit. Actually paying, earning I mean, a paying something's going to pay already and he earns a little bit back. So it's not a bad That's deal. right. Right, right. And he says, one would think I would be happy, right? <laughs> uh, but he had a hard time, or I should read it in his words, I had a hard time pulling the trigger. While objectively, I know that I will come out ahead with the payment. There's just a constant guilt of seeing myself paying over $100 in fees. <laughs> I did pay the bill with credit card in the end, but nevertheless, it was a revealing insight into my fear of fees, somewhat similar to your discovery of joy hmm. of free interesting yeah i thought this was very yeah interesting and, and kind of insightful that that it's it's almost the the flip side of the joy of free so the joy of free is where you know uh there's there's an extra benefit to rewarding yourself by by getting things you want whether it's travel or stuff by using points because it feels free and and there's there's some extra sort of happiness you get out of uh, getting something free as opposed to paying for it. So, so, you know, I've talked about before how like, even if you could redeem your points for cash and then use cash to buy the same thing, it might not feel as free then that way. And so there's, there's, there's this intangible benefit to, to free that that's out there. Now here's the flip side is, is the, the, the the fear of fees, uh, which which is the opposite um, side of the joy of free, which is kind of, joy of free, the fear of fees, right, right, right. Up, so up so it's like the, the pain of fees, <laughs> right, right. So so you know, even though paying with the credit card in this case, he's getting more back than he's paying. It's painful to pay a fee, and and that's kind of interesting. I I don't personally have the pain of fees like like if i know i'm getting back more uh than the, than as, the cash fee, as, as cash especially as cash back, back. I, I feel like that's so, the qualifier here as cash back i think the pain is uh, i not existent for me in that case either because i'm physically getting that money right back when it's points and you're, right. and you're saying well okay i'm gonna get points that are worth well more even when they're well more than the fee then I can get it. I get that there's still that right. pain point of, well, yeah, but I'm paying for the points. You know, like I'm paying extra more than right. I need to pay. Right. And that's, that like goes counterintuitive to what we generally recommend, right? I mean, the whole idea here, the whole game is to pay less and to not pay fees whenever you can. So even if you're getting more value than the fee, yeah, that's an interesting point that there's still that intangible thing, like you said, that intangible pain in this case of knowing that you could have paid less out of pocket. Right, right, right. So I'm curious, anyone else listening out there, what, what do you think? Do you, do you have a pain in fees, even when you know you're getting back more <laughs> than right. the fee by, by paying with a credit card? Well, I know, uh, I know it's let true us know. because let I, us people, know. Like, so this, this 100K platinum offer that's been widely available, I know that yeah. there are people who have hesitated on it because of the $550 annual fee that you have to pay up front, which is a big barrier. I mean, it's not a little bit, uh, a little bit of money. You know, we're not talking about a small amount. That's a, right. a huge amount of money to lay out out front. And so I think even people in many cases that know that 
the welcome bonus and the benefits outweigh that fee, that's still a significant pain point paying that. Like if they waived the fee the right. first year and dropped the bonus in half, I bet you way more people would apply for the card, right? I mean, because lots of people just find that pain point too much to bear. And, and, and I, I get it. I, it's an interesting psychological game. I mean, these marketing people have definitely spent some time right. uh, studying the, the psychology of, of these things to kind of try to make us make bad decisions. And, and this game is, of course, trying to beat them in, at their own game, right? So we're trying to out outsmart them. And in this case, you did outsmart them if you paid with that Bank of America premium rewards card because you ended up with more cash in your Absolutely. pocket than you started with. So, Right, right. Yeah. So you made the right choice and it just that's was right. a little painful to well do done. it. And, and I get that. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well done. Um, totally understandable. And okay. So that brings us to on. what crazy thing did City do this week? And this week, it was, well, City was involved this week. So last week, I think we had a triple header, which was like unprecedented. Yes. And this week, we have a double header. So, I mean, like five crazy things in two weeks. It's like, whew, we've had a crazy couple of weeks. So what crazy thing did City do this week, Greg? Yeah, so, so City, I don't even know Recently. if it was this week, but, but we certainly didn't cover it. Right. We certainly didn't cover Close it last enough. week in the show. Um, City... The one like sort of big thing city thank you points had going for it recently that that fit with the needs of pandemic times was this automatic 20% boost you get when you transfer thank you points to shop your way points. So you would get like for every dollar of thank you points, you get a dollar 20 of shop your way points. Didn't used to be interesting, but became interesting when shop your way had gift cards and, and let you redeem those points for gift cards. So what did City do? They were like, oh, just I didn't know we had this this extra bonus here, but I've been reading Frequent Miler and we've got to stop that. So so without notice, Thanks, they just uh, blanket changed evil, it. Or evil deal right. killer you. <laughs> you know, the, the one consolation is that Shop Your Way also kind of killed the, the benefit by by dropping all the useful gift cards, them, not yeah. all of them, but a lot of the useful gift cards from their, uh, from their. So portfolio. they made sure it was good and dead, right? I so, mean, like, this is definitely totally gone now for the time being anyway, because you, you wouldn't want to do this at one cent each, right? No, there, that would be, yeah. I mean, that would be crazy. I mean, you'd be trading in one cent of thank you points, which you could always get gift cards directly for that value from, from city for one cent worth of shop your way points, which sometimes have value depending on what's in stock on their gift card thing. Right. And that comes and goes. So, right. It would be yeah, crazy. That'd be crazy. And especially, and, yeah. right. And especially, uh, well, I was just going to yes, say that I think right. it's Monday, right? Uh, for Cyber Monday, City is doing a 20% yes, discount, I think, which with, on but, their gift cards. But what we don't uh, know yet points. is whether it's going to be all of the gift cards. Mm -hmm. I did see that the Dr. Oh, Credit published okay. a rumor that it was only going to be like four or five brands. So we don't, we don't yet oh, know man. what's going to be on sale on Monday. So maybe it'll be useful. Maybe it won't. But it's worth logging into thankyou.com. And the point here is that there's no sense in transferring over to Shop Your Way because generally speaking, you you could redeem for the same gift cards via the thank you portal at the same value. And maybe you'll get lucky and they'll run a sale like Cyber Monday and, and maybe you'll get a, a chance to get a better deal on a gift card that matters to you. So, so no point in doing shop your way now, right. unless they offer right. a transfer bonus. Maybe that's their, maybe that's their game. No. They're going to offer a 20% transfer bonus. So <laughs> <laughs> shop your way. So, I look so, forward to writing know, that headline. Where, 20% where, transfer bonus, shop your way where, rewards. Right. So, so so we've we've talked about how how Chase has has upped their game during the pandemic by adding the the uh, pay yourself back feature that's really super useful during the pandemic because you could use points at full value to get stuff you actually want and and it doesn't have to be limited to travel and and we've said and now you know thanks to this whole shop your way thing there was a, a path to do the same with with City and 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 we complained that Amex hadn't added anything along those lines well. City decided they wanted to be more with <laughs> Amex like, we're, we're than, out on that, guys. than with Chase. <laughs> you're right. You're right. That was too crazy <laughs> even for us. So, <laughs> yeah, enough compliments. Let's let's get out of this. Well, you know, and the funny thing is, so Amex <laughs> hasn't done any way for you to use your points for stuff. Like, like uh, that's what you're saying. It, there's a great wow. opportunity to use points for right. stuff. 
with uh, with Chase, but not really with Amex. Although Amex does regularly offer those deals through Amazon, where you use one membership rewards point and you have a decent discount. I got targeted fifty percent off this sure. one up to sixty bucks off. So that was a nice one, but. Right. So that's always like one great point. Use exactly. of one, one point. point and not no use at all for the rest <laughs> of your points. But uh, but so they do occasionally right. do that and they have increased offers. I mean, we've seen some great offers on some of the MX cards in the last couple of months. Oh, City, on definitely. the other hand, yeah. the only thing they had going for them was this shop your way thing. They haven't increased the offer, I don't think, on any of their credit cards. Uh, they, I mean, they added, you know what, I'll give them this. They added the 5% back. For, the for 5% this week, deal for, is a good know, deal. Six days, they added 5% right. back up to $500. Uh, so that's, but that's it. I mean, apart from that, they really haven't done very right. much. So right. it'd be nice to see them get with the program and just offer something exciting, City. Right, right. So it, it is very interesting. So, so Amex's view seems to be like, let's throw points at people like crazy, get them excited about the program, but don't make it easier to redeem our points. Um, you know, it's sort of like they'll redeem mm -hmm. their points someday. Um, Chase went the other way. Like they do have some things to be able to earn more points, but they haven't done a full on onslaught the way Amex has, in my opinion. And City has been mostly yeah, City's sitting totally out been game. sitting out. I mean, I don't know. Chase has up those ink bonuses to seventy five k on the fee free cards. They've done the five X oh, on Amazon that's true. on a whole slew of cards on up to 1500 a month this month and next month the 2x grocery on the sapphire preferred 3x on the sapphire reserve i mean i feel like they've they've done quite a bit in terms of trying to encourage spend and, and reward people for using their cards kind of get their cards to the top of wallet uh but yeah city just isn't competing like hello city and capital one yeah, if there was ever no, a window no. to get in i mean come on <laughs> a chance to grab a headline from city if you're listening capital one Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so that brings us, I think, then to mattress running. Oh no, no, no. I'm sorry. We were at a double header. That was half the double header. I almost. Right. Right. Well, what, what was the what's the other head of this of this Zaphod Beeblebrox uh, <laughs> well done, double well header done. going on? Uh, so the other crazy thing this week <laughs> is I wrote a post about Amex, and so we just mentioned the platinum card offer, the 100K offer, or 75. It depends on which sign up for and where you sign up for it. But the best deal is 100 or 125K plus 10X for six months at US supermarkets and US gas stations. So I mean like eye-popping return, 10, 10X on groceries. Who gets 10X? On, right. Nobody gets 10X on groceries. This is crazy. So it's been something really exciting to talk about, but we keep getting complaints from readers who are saying, none of my purchases are coding at 10X. And when they look at those transactions, when you go to your transaction history, they're right. It looks like you're only earning 1X. You are actually earning the 10X, but Amex has like, hidden it away in a corner somewhere where it's hard to find a and then yeah. b where you need a phd in math to figure out how they did the equation in order to 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 come up with a number of points that they did and c if you make a lot of purchases you're gonna have a heck of a time trying to make sure that of which purchase earned 10x because you have to go back and reverse engineer the math on all of it it's what a pain right right no i know it's it's kind of crazy at the same time at least there is a way to see it um and and I'm glad you, you wrote that post because so you know some people in in response to my post about bending Amex's lifetime rule where I said I got approved for the platinum card despite it not being seven years since I last had one, um, people ask, well, how can you know that you're um, eligible? So if you if you sign up, get approved, how do you know for sure that you're actually getting the sign up bonus and and you know. You could do what I did, which was quickly spend <laughs> five grand, uh, which in retrospect was dumb because what I've told people since is there's a much easier way, which is spend a dollar to, or two at a grocery store or a gas station, see if you're getting the 10X, and then you know you're, you're eligible. Um, but unless you know the trick for how to see the 10X, you can't actually do that. So. That's great. That's a great resource. So, to have. so it'll be up here somewhere above me. Uh, hopefully, you can be able to click in order to go to the post if you're interested. Also, of course, always links in the show notes, so you can always see the show notes, see the link. So, yeah, you got, you got to go into your membership rewards balance, and I can tell you all about how to do it right now. Except if you're not looking at it right now, you're probably going to still have a hard time finding it later on. So, you got to get in there right, to the membership right. rewards earning section, and, and you'll see it. Uh, yeah, I mean that's useful to know too. If if you have referred someone and you want to know whether you got credit for that referral 
following the same path that Nick lays out in this post will will get you to the place where you'd see the bonus points. And where you, you could, something. out of a drop down, if you wanted to look at just one of your cards, you could select the card that you want to look at and see you know, how many points perhaps you earn on referrals on that particular card. If you want to know whether you maxed it out, maybe you referred a bunch of people and you weren't sure whether or not you hit it or you posted it on social media, et cetera, and you're looking to see, then you could see which cards have gotten points uh, that way too. So it is a good place to know about. Um, and then in terms of the math, it seems, and I don't know if I laid this out in the post itself well enough. I know it was addressed in the comments, but it, the numbers look a little funny because what they're doing is giving you one X on your initial purchase and they're rounding up in cases where there's a fraction of a point. But then what they're doing is they're determining 10 X based on the actual purchase price, not the rounded amount on the actual purchase price, the 10 X and giving you whatever it is you need to make up in order to get to that number from the rounded amount they already gave you. So it's not <laughs> even like you're gonna look at it Very and be like, oh yeah, that's yeah. 9X this purchase price or 9X the number of points that post to, it's like, it's not gonna add up. It, 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 so it's really kind of, but, but the right, points are right. there. Points are there. So, so, basi so basically they, they, they round up, figure out your 1X, then they they figure out on, 10x yes. altogether and subtract exactly, out the 1x exactly. you got, right? And say, yes, here's your exactly. 9x. That's exactly action. what they do, which which sounds uh, like it would be yeah. simple in practice, but because they're rounding up initially, it just <laughs> makes the numbers harder to follow yeah. uh, if you weren't thinking about sure. how they rounded. So, because you can't just look at your purchase exactly. and multiply it by nine to see if it matches exactly. the uh, bonus amount. It's yeah. close, yeah, but it's it close, close, but it's going to be off by a little bit. And I think that's what was throwing people, and it's, especially if you go to the comments anyway, you'll see yeah. you know, there was some confusion over, but it's not 9x this and it's not you know 10x that, blah, blah, blah. And, you, and, and if you made multiple purchases on the same day, you're going to have to split all those up and do the math on each of those separately. Uh, the bonus points might all post together, I think, but the initial purchases post separately and they round each one of those up. So it just makes it even more confusing. So I just realized I'm going to turn this oh, into a triple oh, we're header. We're going to get even crazier. Two weeks in a row with a triple header. Yeah. So this, this crazy thing has okay. nothing to do with credit cards. Um, this is a airline. So the American, the airline in the U.S. that is known for never canceling flights, best on-time performance, always good, uh, Clearly you know, Greg customer service. Spirit. So you flew Spirit, huh? What did, what did they do this week during the holidays? Delta. What did Delta do this week? They canceled something like what? 25% what? of their flights. <laughs> What? Why did they cancel 25% of their flights on like the busiest travel week of the year? No one, no one really knows. There's all kinds of speculation on the internet about what's going on. The Delta uh, reps won't, you know, they have their sort of, uh, you know, the way they talk around things without really saying anything. And, and uh, so huh. who knows, but uh, my wife and I got caught up. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I didn't realize that there was a larger conspiracy at play here. The, 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 there were many, many flights oh, canceled. Yeah. I assume it was just like a one-off thing. Right. But no, a lot of flights. No, 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 it turned out. Yeah, so, so we, you know, we, had a, we had a trip where we were, uh, it was sort of a work vacation trip and, and it ended us up in uh, Florida where we were flying home on uh, Thanksgiving day. This had nothing to do with travel for Thanksgiving. It just happened to line up. Um, and we woke up Thursday morning to, to see texts and emails from Delta saying your flight's been canceled and we've rebooked you on a flight with a five over five hour layover mm -hmm. in Atlanta. And you're not used to um, that. I mean, that, so, that doesn't, Greg, the frequent no, miler doesn't that, fly that, that way. If, if it was, see, if it was American airlines from a few <laughs> years ago, I would have been surprised only because right. we got the email in <laughs> advance, <laughs> not. We didn't. We weren't told while lined up at the at the gate. Uh, but <laughs> but yeah, but with Delta, that was a, I mean, what a curveball to throw you there, huh? So yeah, yeah, and and I don't know why the computers always pick like the worst routing when they reroute you. But you know, I called and got us rebooked on another flight with a forty-five minute layover at JFK, and so we ended up only you know it, it took us three hours longer to get home. So not not a big deal. But wow, you know, for Delta to pick the, I mean, they, they had to pick the worst possible weekend to decide to just melt down. 
and there's no weather problems that I I'm mean, aware of. You know, is there the there might speculation have... that there was some exposure and pilots that weren't able to to fly, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of speculation. Like some is that maybe maybe uh, people Strike were down. calling in oh, sick rather than uh, striking. Maybe maybe they messed up big time as far as uh, they thought they had the pilots they needed, but those pilots weren't. Um, didn't have the hours needed to um, to fly those planes, the yeah. particular planes that were available. Um, a lot of speculation. A lot of, a lot of different no, speculation, but I don't know. Very interesting. I don't know. So, so, so sorry for yeah, all the people out yeah, there. The so, travel was disrupted this weekend. Really right. Cool. Yeah, I, I feel really bad. I, you know, I have to assume a lot of people missed whatever plans they had for Thanksgiving, and so that's that's really sad. I, fortunately for us, we had planned. We're, our immediate family, we're not doing an extended family thing, but our immediate family was planning to do uh, Friday Thanksgiving anyway. So it didn't really make too big of a difference for us, uh, fortunately, but um, yeah, it had to yeah. have hurt yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, that stinks. Yeah, nice, Thanks, nicely Delta. done. You don't get bad mouthed <laughs> on this show very often, Delta, so. <laughs> not, not for right, their right. performance, right? It's, you know, maybe right, for their right. sky miles, but come on. <laughs> All right, so okay. then, not just running the Let's numbers. So the latest hotel promotion that came out this week, I think, was uh, from Choice Privileges. So Choice Privileges has a promo going, and the deal is you stay two consecutive nights, you get 2,000 bonus points. You stay three consecutive nights, you get 5,000 points. Now, I just said bonus points, but I don't actually think it's bonus points. Let me back that up. I think you stay two nights and you get at least 2,000 points. You stay three consecutive nights, you get at least 5,000 points. The choice promos are always such that they don't stack with what you earn from the, <laughs> from the promotion. Greg, Greg just fell asleep. <laughs> well, come on, Greg. If you can pick up 2,000 points, 5,000 points. I mean, you know, it's, so, so, all right. So, what, would this be mattress run? unworthy so you got to ask yourself all right so you got to spend at least 40 bucks a night in order to earn uh, points with choice privileges so okay two forty dollar nights 80 buck investment right 80 dollar investment gets you two thousand points or 120 dollar investment gets you five thousand points so so let's say you're gonna do the 120 go big for the five thousand points you're paying basically 2.4 cents a point so as long as you redeem for more than 2.4 cents a point you're good right <laughs> mattress run hello right <laughs> Yeah, you do that. I mean, Nick. you go to Europe, you can, you can redeem those points for, you know, a lot of Scandinavia. So, Good value so yeah. I mean, first of all, I, I think Choice sells their points outright for something like <laughs> right. 1.25. So that would be <laughs> totally insane. And of course, most people who listen to us frequently know that that you could do the, the cash and points trick. If you have some Choice points, you could book a cash and points day and and then cancel it and and buy points for... I don't remember exactly like that, 0.75 yeah. somewhere in that range. Um, so yeah, this, this is a, uh, sort of a doozy of a, of a, a doozy of a drowsy. Yeah. Bad promo. Is, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, at, at three quarters of a cent per point, 2000 points, you know, what $15 worth of points. If you stay two consecutive nights and if you stay three consecutive nights, they're going to give you, I mean, I don't know. I can't do the math on that fast enough in my head. Six, eight, seven, I don't know. Not much, not much. No, yeah, it doesn't. No, no, no. Let's move on. No, no, no. Wait, that's right. Exactly. Two thumbs Done. down, right? Done. Not worth it. <laughs> All, right. All right. So then that brings us to the main event. Rocking Cyber Monday. Yes. Rocking Cyber Monday. So yeah, so you've been keeping up to date a post of all the all the great deals for Black Friday, Certainly Cyber working Monday, on it. Yep. all the things yep. in between, right? Yeah. So, you know, that causes me a lot of stress. I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> sorry to add to your anxiety and stress. So. <laughs> I mean, I have to think yeah. that there's a lot of people out there feeling the same way that there's this sort of fear of missing out, but at the same time, like, I don't want to spend the time dealing with this, making sure I'm, I'm getting uh, the best deal, like taking advantage of all these deals. And then, then there's like, if I do buy stuff, am I just buying stuff because the deal's there and I wouldn't have bought it anyway? So it's not really a deal if just if, giving your money away, right? You know, hundred dollars goes out the window for a hundred and fifty dollar right, right. thing that you don't no, want. Totally true. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite things about being on this side of the deals, like writing about them, is that I don't end up getting enough time 
to buy many of them because you know I'm constantly looking for the next one to add to the post and you know checking out which ones are still alive and blah blah blah. So I don't get nearly as much time to actually shop and buy stuff as I used to. Like last night, I the night before we recorded this, I was up late trying to buy some of the things that I just knew we had to buy, and I literally was like falling asleep on my keyboard. Like I, I don't, I hit it more than once. <laughs> uh, it, it, so just trying yeah. to to get that done in that short brief window of time that I had for that. And then, you know, the rest of the time that I spend on this is going to be writing about it. So I don't have to have my head explode. <laughs> no, that, that's, <laughs> it is, that's it is. but for you. you and everybody else, it's not. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's tough because there's so many deals, right? And like you said, key point there, right. if you're buying something just because it's a deal, you're not getting a deal at all. So you got to find the stuff that's relevant to you. So yeah. how do you make sense of all this? There's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm thinking you kind of have to go through, or at least this is how I'm approaching is, is going through all these deals, credit card offers and everything and, and, and saying, which ones do I really care about? Which ones are like, so good, or so relevant to me, that I ought to pay attention to this one and sort of then, and just forget about all the like, yes, I could say $5 here or whatever. Uh, but uh it's just too much. And, you know, you, you got to pick the ones where the the savings are significant. At least this is, you know, again, this is, this is my way of dealing with the, the onslaught and, and keeping myself sane, preventing my brain from exploding <laughs> is, is by basically, you know, trying to erase that fear of missing out and just saying that little thing where I, where I can get, you know, Hulu for a few dollars less each month by doing whatever it is that the blog tells me to do um, is probably not a big enough win for me to, to, to spend all my time. So, so I need to focus on the ones that are big wins. And, you know, like, like for example, uh, if I had T-Mobile, I'd be very excited about that T-Mobile deal where you could add a line for free. I mean, that seems like. Oh, and, and it, it, it is. And, and the other day, if you did it at Costco earlier this week, then you could add a free line for no cost and get a $200 Costco gift card. So it's just like they're paying you 200 bucks in order to get the free line. So, I mean, no brainer, right? Super simple. You go in, walk out, I and mean, it's a rebate. So you have to wait a few weeks uh, in order to get it, but you get that. And if you poured in a line with T-Mobile, you get another hundred bucks. So if you went and did that and poured it in a line that you bought on eBay for like four bucks, you could walk out essentially $300 ahead of where you walked in. Of course, I actually did do that because I was near Costco and I walked out saying, if I knew how long it was going to take when I walked in the door, it wasn't worth $200. I would have stayed at home and just taking the hundred for putting in a line myself and been happy with that. But uh, so oh, you, know, wow. you never know. Sometimes those things work. Sometimes you get the fear of right. missing out and you're like, you know, oh man, Nick wrote about this awesome deal at T-Mobile. I left $200 on the table. And on the flip side, I did get that. And I'm not as excited as I wanted to be when I walked in the door. That's for sure. Because I mean, I was in there for gosh, uh, almost two and a half hours altogether. So uh, mm -hmm. it was just so, so I had a similar experience from home, which was, so Rakuten was offering, I think it was 16% mm -hmm. for Saks Fifth Avenue. And, you know, I have, I right now have two platinum cards that have the $50 credits. I also have a nearly $50 Saks gift card. And, and I was like, I need to spend all this while it's 16 X, which, you know, I'm getting membership rewards. So it's worth more than 16% to me. And my wife and I spent hours like figuring out exactly what to get and whether or not we can <laughs> split the charge across two credit cards online because they had a deal where if you spend 150, you get a $75 gift card, yep. uh, promo gift card. And so it was like, oh, I have almost $150 to spend, but there was no way to spend it all in one purchase <laughs> online. And so it's like, do I bother calling? <laughs> anyway, so, so, we spent like in, you know, hours and hours, and 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 at the end of it, I'm like, it could it possibly be worth it? And I don't think I don't think I spent so. about 15 minutes looking at that specific <laughs> deal because I thought the same. Even I only had the one fifty dollar credit to use, but I thought to myself, all right, well, so I'm going to spend fifty bucks and get fifty back. I could spend another hundred and end up 
with a $75 coupon, basically. It's a, the, the $75 gift card's worth uh, right. 75 bucks for like a week or something like that or two weeks. It's very short term. Exactly. Um, but so then I, I did the math and I was like, all right, so I could lay out $100 and end up with $225 worth of sack stuff, I guess is what it was. That'd be 100 out of my pocket for 220 And and that sounded right. pretty good. I mean, yeah. That was good deal. Pretty, I was like, oh, yeah. that, that's, yeah. that's pretty decent. And I looked at the stuff and again, and I was like, wait a second, I'm hunting for what to buy for $50. <laughs> Like, this is ridiculous. I like. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't need. There's not two hundred and twenty five dollars worth of stuff that I need at Saks. Yes, it might be a great deal. No, I don't need it, and, and I'm just searching for stuff just to buy stuff. So I gave that about fifteen or twenty minutes, and I was like, "All right, wait a second. This is dumb. I need to. I need to walk away." But you know, I, it, it's tough because we each get wrapped up in different things. I mean, that's a great example of how Craig got wrapped up in that one, and I didn't. I got wrapped up in the T-Mobile thing, and and he was kind of like, "Oh man." wish I had T-Mobile to take care, advantage of that one. So, uh, so I, what do you do? How do you keep all this straight? Because I mean, right now there's so many bonuses too. That's the other thing, right? I mean, you got all these different bonuses. If you're going to shop at Amazon, yeah. you could use a membership rewards point in order to get a discount. Maybe you could use one of many different chase cards to earn 5X on your purchase. You get the city cards that are offering 5% back on top of the rewards. We've got lots of people who've opened a new credit card. Maybe you got a new in cash for the 75K offer, a new platinum for the 100K, whatever the case may be. You're probably working on a spending offer too. Oh my goodness. Like my wife keeps asking me, what card do I use for this purchase? What card do I use for that purchase? And it's like, it takes me 15 minutes just to make sure, okay, is the offer loaded to this card? Is, you know, is this the card that's getting the best return? Should I do five points on this card or three points on that? Like, How do you keep it straight? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know a, a good solid way, but when there's when there's something that's too good to pass up, like you're getting twenty uh, percent back or more at Amazon, um, what I usually try to do if I see that I'm qualified for that offer is. I mean, if I happen to know that I'm going to buy stuff at Amazon that's sold by Amazon, so it meets all the qualifications, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and use it for that. But otherwise, I try to find a third-party gift card that I know that I can use and uh, just get the discount right off the bat. And so, you know, as soon as I find that I'm eligible, just try to get this whole deal off the table. Say, okay, great, I just saved twenty percent on. Hotels.com or uh, Netflix, you know. So, although now I'm I'm like paid up on my Netflix <laughs> subscription for the next three years, but but um, you know that kind of thing will will um, is I think is a good way to kind of just get it off the yeah. I mean, I think that's a smart strategy. See, I I tend to not do that, and I should probably because I think that's a really good strategy. Like Greg said, I think the key point in all of what he said there was to get it off of the to-do pile, to be like, okay, I don't need to hunt for a reason to use that or a thing to use it on or a thing to justify buying because I'm getting X amount of dollars off. Just use it on something that you know you're going to spend the money at. Amazon's got tons of third-party gift cards. I mean, you mentioned Netflix or whatever, and, and you look through the list and there's tons. There's grocery stores. If you live in a Safeway, at least I don't know. It's been a while since I looked at Safeway. They used to carry Safeway cards. So if you live somewhere where Safeway's your grocery store, I mean, easy money there then, right? Because that's groceries. You know you're going to buy groceries. So, um, so you look for something like that that you know you're going to use. Watch out for those gift cards. Where you're like, you know, am I really gonna go to Chipotle for you know $150 worth of burritos? I don't. I mean, someday, yeah, probably. Am I gonna right. use it real soon? I don't know. So think about that a little bit. But especially this week too, though, when there are gift card deals and you can stack the gift card deals with that discount, if it's a place you know you're gonna use, yeah, I think that's a, a good strategy that I should probably follow because I'm on the flip side over here thinking like, okay, I've got this $60 to spend to make something cheap enough to justify buying. So which thing is it going to be like, who's going to get the gift that's worth $60 more than what I spent on it? Uh, right. So, uh, but I mean, I, I think gifting, I think that is an important other piece of the strategy that that's worth doing. And I, I struggle with this, but you know, the holidays are coming up where, where I'm going to be buying presents for a lot of people. If I could just motivate myself to do it now, <laughs> act, act like, you know, Christmas is tomorrow, and and so I've got to buy the stuff now. Then then uh, it would be a really good time to do so because lots of stuff's on sale. We have all these promos, and uh, right. all of it stacks, right? So the credit card promos stack with the 
with the Amazon discounts and um, and the sales. Right. right, and a lot of things are in sale everywhere. So you know, a lot of those things, like for example, yeah. the Apple AirPods that I wrote about the other day, or the Apple Watches, or different Google devices, the Google Home stuff. Um, a lot of those things that are kind of standardized in pricing everywhere are all on sale like for the same price, basically, each of the different stores. So then it comes down to where can you stack the best discount and deal? And there's that's multifaceted because you got things like those pay with points to get a discount at Amazon. But then if you aren't eligible for that or you've already used that, then it comes down to, okay, so where can you use a shopping portal? Where can you potentially use a coupon? And where do you earn the most on your credit card? So, I mean, that gets tough to manage. And then you got if you got a Discover card, then you got to think about, okay, well, I could redeem Discover cash for a gift card. Or if you're not doing that, I mean, my wife wanted to order a bunch of stuff last night and I was about to order it. And I said, you know what? I could order it through, or I could order gift cards through the United Mileage Plus app and earn some extra miles per dollar on top of what I'm earning on the credit card by, you know, by buying those gift cards. You're just adding to <laughs> right, the so explosion. Then I had to walk back in and be like, hey, <laughs> honey, any chance you're going to you know, return any of this? Because if you are, I don't want to deal with the gift cards, but like, I'm pretty sure you're going to keep this stuff and I want to get some more miles per dollar. And of course, she was like, oh, I don't know. I use a credit card. You know, stop it. Ridiculous. You're getting ridiculous here. Another two miles per dollar doesn't really matter. But And she's right. But it's hard to leave that you know, on the table, so to speak. It is, it is, but there's just so much. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know, there, there's so many, uh, so many things going on, and I think you just have to pick which ones you so, care enough about to to pursue, and 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 try not to let it bother so you. So, what matters, matters to you the most in terms of? So, if I, we just look at credit card stuff, right? So, obviously, the pay with points, Amex. Yeah. If you're eligible for the those discounts, like twenty percent, thirty percent, fifty percent at Amazon, you definitely want to use that. Like, there's no question. Like, do that now. Definitely. Forget about everything else. Right. Go get that. Right. Done. Okay. Buy your gift cards. Go get that done. So that, that's exactly. done. Now, what matters? I mean, you got five X at Amazon on a slew of different Chase cards. You got five percent for online purchases on just about every City card right now. Uh, you know, and, but they have different caps, right? The City cards, it's up to five hundred dollars spend. The Chase cards, it's up to uh, fifteen hundred dollars a month, I think. So fifteen hundred in November, fifteen hundred in December. And then I know that you probably have opened a card at some point. Well, I guess you did your your spending requirement already. How do you prioritize? Like, Better. Yeah, but you also have the Amex offer. Oh, for right, Amazon, the plus eight. You know, getting the right. plus eight membership rewards. Yeah, points. yeah. So yeah, what matters? So, so, so that's the only one I can I can answer right now, which is I have that I loaded that to my Amex Everyday Preferred, which you know needs uh, thirty purchases a month to get a, to earn extra points, and so I set up a um, auto load. Uh, every day uh, up until the end of the year uh, to uh, load to my Amazon account, and and even though Am uh, Amex doesn't doesn't like you buying gift cards, and this is sort of technically like that, I I don't think Amazon I don't think Amex is likely to claw back or withhold bonus points for Amazon. Unlikely, so, very uh, unlikely. It's just- Yeah, very unlikely. Yeah. That's a great idea. And you know, that's a great point because here I am writing about these deals, buying stuff, bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon already. Totally forgot about the eight points per dollar, like the membership rewards, the extra eight points. Because mm -hmm. I, I mentally had that <laughs> earmark that, okay, I haven't actually, I told you I, I haven't used my discount for pay with points yet. And so I kind of mentally had it earmarked that I'm going to stack those and use that uh, the points for the discount for the, I'm going to save $60 on something and I'll get that eight points per dollar on that purchase was my thought. Cause that's capped at what? $375 in spent. I think something like, <laughs> see, it's hard to keep all this. Exactly. That I, sounds very precise. I, 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 so I think I'm going to go what with what is, you I just think. said. So, so I was like, okay, well that'll kind of fit. That should probably eat up most of, you know, the spend for, uh, for whatever it is I'm going to buy, but it's, you know, it is difficult. So I think the, Here's the thing, though, or do you do you do you prioritize the ones that are yeah. ending really soon? So that one, I, I believe, so. goes till the end of the year. So right. you have plenty of time to use that one. Whereas the city ones are only, only for a week, and the chase week, ones right? are per month. So so if you want that, so so now so now yeah. here's the question: If you're going to buy something that's five hundred bucks, and you're going to buy it on Amazon, let's say, which do you pick? Do you take five percent back on a city card, or do you take five points per dollar on one of the many Chase cards? And if, if so, which one? Because you got a chance for five points per dollar Marriott points, five 
IHG points per dollar, five, uh, whatever the co-brands are in general, they're all offering basically five, five United miles, five Southwest points. Right. Yeah. Well, so, you know, don't forget that city's also giving you whatever the normal earnings are plus whatever promotional things you're signed up for. So, you know, if you're using your prestige card and you haven't yet used the five X online earnings thing, then you're getting both five X rewards plus 5% back. And that would be, a, I think a no brainer to go with that. In my case, I've got the AT&T access more card that earns three X online. It's been working for three X, uh, at Amazon. And, uh, I also have a plus two points per dollar retention offer on that card. So I'm earning five X on that card at Amazon plus, 5%. plus I get 5% back. So, so for me, that's an easy, so easy then answer, is that good enough that you just go buy gift cards with that? Because I mean, you did that with the, the Amex pay with points. You're like, Oh, I'll find a gift card. That's worth it to me that I know I'm going to use. I mean, this is a similar scenario, right? You're going to save $25 no. and plus five yeah. points per dollar. So if you, even if you only value that at 1% each, you're talking 10%, $50. Right. It's a little, it's a, yeah, a, a little different. So, uh, of all the gift cards I could get that I would be most sure of using, Amazon itself. So I would, I, I will consider just loading up uh, all of that onto my Amazon account as credit, you know, and and uh, then then I could use it, you know, for whatever on Amazon, and and even later buy third party gift cards if I need them. So that, that I think so. I think it's I think it's good enough for that. It's not. It's not twenty percent. Well, right, but it's, right, correct. It's worth a little more right, than ten percent. Right, and you can you can it's worth a little bit more than ten percent. So the overall dollar figure might be more savings than the twenty dollars that you stand to save with the twenty percent discount, right? I mean, because you stand to save fifty dollars on five hundred dollars spent, right? It, it, sure. More or less, it gets a little right. murky because then you're talking about how much you value the thank you points. So in, in that case, I would I would agree though. I think probably loading up your Amazon balance would make sense. Maybe that's what I should have done with mine. But I actually use mine to to purchase stuff. I I spent almost exactly five hundred dollars on the AT and T card already, and uh, now oh, I'm nice. working on other cards. So, <laughs> so but I'm, I'm doing yeah. shopping not just for me, but for family members too. So uh, so yeah. So did you come to the same conclusion that the city deal was better for you than uh, a five X offer? Well, is... so in my case, what I did was I used the city offer for stuff that wasn't from Amazon. So uh, still online. Oh, exactly. right. Cause it's so just online purchases. I'll save right. the Amazon right. bonuses. Uh, I'll, I'll use the chase cards for the Amazon bonuses and, and should be using the Amex card for, for that also because the city card would work all sorts of online purchases and, and I'm buying lots of stuff from other places for people too. So uh, now the gamble there is that like, for example, one of the things I bought last night was sheets from this puffy mattress company. Cause I bought some sheets when they were on a great deal. The doctor of credit posted a while back and really liked them. They're they really nice. And of course they're doing a black Friday sale, 15% off, blah, blah, blah. So I bought them, but I, I have no idea whether, you know, puffy.com or whatever the, I don't know if that's exactly the, don't, don't type that into your web browser and then blame me if it doesn't go to puffy mattress. I have no idea. I don't remember the URL, but whatever it is, puffy mattress. Right. It's right. It's definitely right, going right. to be an X-rated website, website that you just right. let people to. So anyway, so <laughs> puffy mattress, I, I bought the sheets, but I don't know, is it really going to code three X? That's hard because the AT&T access more card is very unpredictable. It, it, some online merchants code at 3x and some just don't, even though they probably should. So uh, so there's a little bit of gamble involved there. I hope that I'll get the 3x and the 5%. I'll be a little disappointed if I don't get one, but the 5% still is probably good enough. I mean, really, realistically, 5% on top of your credit card rewards is pretty good return. <laughs> so that's very good. So I can't yeah. complain too much, even <laughs> if that happens. So yeah, but I, I've definitely have been running into that issue where also I've, I've wanted to make sure, oh, my wife wanted to buy something on Amazon. And so I said, okay, I'm going to give her one of her cards, one of her chase cards that, that's earning five points per dollar. And I, I wanted to give her the Marriott card because I wanted Marriott points because we've talked about before how I like the opportunity to earn Marriott points at a reasonable clip because there aren't many things that I'm gonna earn Marriott points on. So whenever I can take right. advantage of an opportunity where I don't feel bad about myself for collecting Marriott points, I'm like, all right, let, let's go ahead and do that. So I was gonna give her the Marriott right. card and, and I, I took it out and I was like, wait a second, 
I don't know for sure whether or not I registered this for the 5X. So then I get to go to Frequent Miler and type in the Chase 3X to 10X to try to find the post. So as I'm doing that, I'm like, oh, but wait a second. I, I know that I registered her Southwest card for the 5X because I bought something else and got the 5X on it because I bought something at Walmart and got 5X on it. In my local Walmart, because it coded as, as grocery or maybe Walmart, I don't know, whatever it was that got the 5X. So I knew I had that and I said, okay, well that's synced up. And then I said, well, duh, I should of course be using the Southwest card. Those points are worth a penny and a half towards airfare. So that's like a seven and a half percent return. What was I even thinking with this Marriott card? And so it gave her the, the Southwest card to make her purchase. But uh, but I, constantly thinking about that stuff, it does make it a little bit difficult to sit back and enjoy Thanksgiving dinner and uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, relax a little bit. So I, I think though our post tries to lay out deals that are worthwhile. So we have a post for all the Cyber Monday deals, Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals that lays out deals that we think are worth taking a look at probably for one reason or another, either because there's stuff you might want or because they're gift card opportunities that are worth it. And then we have a separate post of like the spending offers to maximize. And so you can kind of look through that separate post and see, okay, I don't have these cards, so I can ignore that part. I do have these cards and kind of earmark the ones that you want to make sure that you use. So I, I think that doing that ahead of time before you start shopping, figuring out what it is you think you're going to use. Maybe, maybe that reduces some of the anxiety and stress. I hopefully a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So you, you know, one thing I'm reminded of when we're talking about all this is um, a, a, a lunch I had years ago. Um, I had just recently become a blogger started Frequent Miler, uh, had the opportunity to go to a conference called like Blog World or something like that. And I met, uh, among other people, um, the author of Deals We Like. And she and I and a couple of other people were at lunch. And back then, the Sapphire Preferred was the big thing because it got 2x for, for dining and travel. And so you know, um, we're all whipping out our, our Sapphire cards. Um, and it, it turned out that the, um, the restaurant, I guess, didn't take credit cards, but, but anyway, the, uh, you know, at first we're all like rumbling about it, but, but she's like, you know, you're talking about, you know, this was like a $10 <laughs> lunch. Each, talking maybe. Like you're talking about 20, right. Right. 20, 30 <laughs> cents, 40 cents. Like, if you want to really get generous about right, right. the value of the points. Yeah. So, and, and so, you know, that really meant a lot, helped me like look at things a little differently and say, yeah, these little things. Yeah. If you could, if you can make it a habit of picking the right one, it'll add up over time for sure. But uh, you know, don't sweat it when, when you miss out on the little thing, like, like it, it's, I would, I would hate for someone to get right all their credit card picks right now for the shopping season, but miss out on like the uh, platinum hundred K offer right. because they were too busy nice. yeah. to figuring out here, whether you use a Bonvoy yeah. card or no, to- totally card, true. Right? And actually what I was thinking about as you were talking about that was how I don't worry about gas. Like lots of people worry about this station is five cents a gallon less than that station. Well, I don't worry about that. Cause I'm like, what well, I want to fill it up mm-hmm. 20, 20 gallons. So if I save a nickel a gallon, it's a dollar. I mean, I'm, I, I don't, I don't worry about that right. win because it's not, not big enough to me. Right. And so it's the same kind of thing here. And, and what I thought of as you were talking about it was I need to get my wife on the phone again with Chase because I know that some people on a second round of calls got some of those retention offers. And so I, I've been meaning to have her call again and I've forgotten. And I think about that and I'm like, all right, in one phone call in 20 minutes, which Greg already talked about last week was longer than he needed to spend. He walked away with $575. That's going to like dwarf whatever I'm going to save over the next couple of days, probably. So like in one phone right, call. Right. So, <laughs> So don't get so caught up in these deals <laughs> that you don't make that call because you know those are those wins are the ones that matter. Uh, these small ones I don't worry too much about. And in fact, when it comes to the Black Friday, Cyber Monday stuff, I write about all the deals because you know I want people to know about what's going on and save money where they want to save money and feel excited about that joy of free, so to speak. Uh, but personally, I buy a lot less for me these days during this time. What I actually focus on in terms of my shopping is websites where I know there's 
very rarely a discount the rest of the year. Like places that sell things and you can only get them direct. Like I mentioned those puffy mattresses, they are, uh, the puffy uh, sheets, the sheets from the puffy mattress company, because I haven't found them at any other stores. They're not on any shopping portals. There's no coupons. So like, this is it. Yeah. I, I, I was waiting for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, figuring that right. that's probably the right. only time I'm going to get a discount on that particular product. And sure enough, boom, there comes the first discount I've seen since I bought the first set anyway. So I was like, all right, right. well, great. So I'm going to hop on right. those kind of things. So I look for that stuff and don't worry about the rest. Yep. S similarly, like local yes. shops uh, often have gift card totally. deals for themselves, you know, you for their for own shop. Me. If you shop at these places, uh, you know, I know my local market, which is not a national chain, is doing a Cyber Monday deal where you get these bonus uh, cards by buying gift cards. And I'll see what happens if I use my Amex nice. Platinum with that. But uh, you know, uh, those things those things are great because uh, you're actually helping out the local merchant and and getting a deal that'll last you. You know, as that's long a as great you know point. That's a great there. point. My wife had a, a massage recently and was going to buy a gift card from the masseuse for a future visit or for family I don't remember what it was, but but the masseuse had told her that uh, actually I'm going to run a gift card deal during this Black Friday Cyber Monday time kind of a thing and explained what it was. And, and when my wife right. told me, I was like, oh well, I mean we should probably just stock up on a year's worth of massages then when that comes around, because it was a, a significant chunk. I mean, it's already well-priced a good deal. And I thought, Oh, this is terrific. We're gonna save a bunch of money on that. So yeah, totally agree. That's a great uh, opportunity. And I had actually forgotten she mentioned it. So now I'm glad you said this because when we get done recording today, I'm going to remind her to make that phone call so that, you know, we can, again, like you said, support a local business and save a bunch of money on something that we would ordinarily spend money on. And, and, and also, uh, get to save a, a decent chunk. So I look for those things now. I don't look as much at each individual deal, especially uh, these days, apart from maybe the Apple products, most things like, you know, your Amazon Echoes and your Google whatever's are gonna go on sale probably two or three more times between now and the holidays. So I don't feel the same FOMO, the same fear of missing out that I used to because I'm so used to seeing the cycles of these right. deals. That, they do tend to come around again. So it's probably not your only chance. This year, a lot of those things came around during Prime Day, just like a month ago. And here they are again. And, and with people you know, mostly shopping online, and obviously, I would assume spending less money this year than in past years, I imagine there's going to be more competition than usual, and we'll continue to see sales. So yeah, don't get caught up in that fear of missing out. Make sure you're using a card that earns something decent, but also make sure you're not so focused on saving an extra five cents here, 50 cents there that you forget to you know, save the two or three hundred dollars when you can. Right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Good advice. Good All right. Advice. So that brings right. us, I think, to post roast. And I'm not I'm not going to roast post myself. Time. So uh, uh, Greg was on vacation this <laughs> week. So he came back and he wrote about the Wentworth mansion in Charleston, which looked pretty interesting. And I, I have looked at that as a redemption before. So I have nothing to roast there except for the fact that the pictures took forever to load on my my phone and I tried to pull it up this morning, which I don't know if it was my phone oh, or if I'm it was sorry. high resolution images, but for some reason it just took forever for those pictures. So I'm going to roast you on that. And that's it's... it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll have to double check my uh, WordPress uh, mobile settings to see if they're uploading at, yeah, at high res instead of medium. I didn't double check. Um, most likely it's, I think, I think it's, it's uh, T-Mobile. <laughs> Signing is, up so many. Is, uh, <laughs> you're adding so many like, free lines. Second, so. Barely paying for service, service anymore. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> could be, could be. So, so yeah, so no, no post roast for me, really. So, all right, well, all right. So, so you wrote a post um, for Thanksgiving, I did, and you, you, you <clears throat> erroneously <laughs> described me as a <laughs> nice guy and claimed that my online personality. Uh, as a nice guy was, was, you know, more than true in real life. And you know, perfectly well that that's, that's a lie that, that I am actually a hard ass jerk in real life. So much so that it was hard for him to even figure out how to say that. He was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a, he's a trained cat so, assassin. So, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> so, if only, if only everyone knew. I do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So, um, yeah, I'm a cat killer. So, you know, <laughs> I think you should tell the well, truth. Well, thank you. Thank you. Th thank you very much for that also. So uh, it's, uh... actually, no, it, it was, well, it you. was a great post. I, I really loved reading it. And, and, um, 
I really loved the uh, reader comments as well. Or were really, yeah. really touching. And, it was really and, nice uh, to see that. Yeah, Th and thank you. Wow. I mean, it's a great place to work. Frequent Miler is an awesome place to work. I'm thankful for the site. I was thankful for the site and I, I didn't include this. And I, in hindsight, I kind of felt like, how did I not also include this? I've, I've long been thankful for the site because it saved me tons of money over the years. And, uh, and, and some readers have said before that, oh, you've saved me a bunch of money on this or that. Uh, but Frequent Miler saved me that same amount of money too on those things because I wasn't paying attention to that stuff before I started reading the site. So I'm I'm just as thankful that frequent miler exists uh, you know, beyond everything else right meanwhile you've costed <laughs> me all kinds of money because you write about deals and then like about to me deals and then my wife likes to me and we have to go buy more to me and <laughs> okay, i take no responsibility for that no responsibility you gotta rein things in right, no responsibility there so uh yeah like we said no no fear of missing out come on practice what you preach uh, that's right. So, uh, and let me just say, I'm very thankful for, for uh, having you on the team. I'm very thankful for the team. Uh, I think we, we have a great time together in our weekly meetings and, and just as, as a group, all work well together and um, very thankful for that. And, and um, I'm thankful for <laughs> this podcast too. I've been really having fun with it and we get all kinds of great feedback and thankful to everybody who gives us great feedback um, or any kind of feedback. And uh, I, I've started recently realizing that when people ask me what I do for a living for the last 10 years, I've been saying I'm a blogger and then I have to <laughs> kind of explain that. Um, but now I'm thinking, is that really yeah. it? I mean, we're podcasters. We're I don't know what you call it with, with the right. video aspect, but but uh, YouTubers, podcasters, yeah. bloggers, yeah. vlogger, yeah, vlogger. There you go. A little bit, a little bit so we're, we're all of that multimedia and, uh, extraordinaires. You know. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm thankful that there are people that are interested in all this stuff. So I'm um, thank you for for staying interested and sharing sure. it with friends. I mean, I constantly hear from people say that they shared the site with friends or the podcast or this or that with friends. And so you find people that might be interested in it. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. It's certainly been, uh, you know, 2020 has been a crazy year and, and I've been very thankful throughout the craziness of the year that things in my life have been less crazy because uh, everything at Frequent Miler has been, you know, the, the kind of the normal flow for us. So it's been easy to just work and focus and pay attention to that and, uh, and get less caught up in the craziness. Uh, similar to the way we talked about getting caught up in the craziness of Black Friday, getting caught up in the craziness of 2020 can certainly get overwhelming. So I've been thankful right. to be less focused on that. Thanks to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thanks to everybody yeah. who's supported us and has made the blog come out of its... Uh, steep decline, which many businesses did yeah. during the pandemic, but, but we're now running uh, back near, you know, near pre pandemic uh, rates. So uh, that's amazing. Thank you. And fantastic. thank you all very much. So, okay. So we thank right. you all. All right. All right. So let's, let, let's get to questions. Then. <laughs> let's, let's get a little bit more challenging here. And I say a little bit more challenging, only a little bit more yeah. challenging this week with the question of the week, but a good question on the last that I didn't know the answer to. So I, and I think you probably will. So Anthony and our frequent Miler insiders asks question about sweet night awards. Okay. So this is Marriott sweet night awards. And that, that's why I asked you because I figured okay. you would probably have a good handle on how these work and the Marriott's Oh, I just oh. used one. So the Marriott recently. Sweet Night okay, Awards for anybody who doesn't know, if you yeah. hit 50 nights at Marriott, then you get five Sweet Night Awards that you can apply. And the way these work is that you apply them in advance, but then they don't start searching. We talked about this before. They don't start searching for availability until five days before you check in. And then if the suite that you want is available, right. then theoretically you get upgraded to it. Right. And if it's not available, they keep checking right up until the day before check in, I think. More or less got it, right? So the question is, yes. I only selected one option for the suite I wanted, the governor's suite for the Aruba Marriott Stellaris next week. If it gets denied five days before, if he doesn't get it at that five day window, he says, can I submit another request and include the lesser suite, the junior suite, and see if that gets approved or can you only try once? Can you just try to apply the suite upgrade once? So uh, Marriott lets you pick the suites that you want, right? So can you like withdraw it and say, okay, all right, I'll also take this other one. Can you withdraw it and resubmit it for the same property huh. and same stay? I think you probably can. Um, that's that's a that's an interesting question. So you know, I mean, it, it, if he does nothing, it's going to keep trying every day. So it's not like you get an email saying it was denied. You get an email saying mm -hmm. we're going to keep trying, <laughs> um, and um, 
What I don't know off the top of my head is how easy it is to cancel a request. Can you just go online and cancel it? But I would think that at the very least, you should be able to call and, and cancel that request. And then you could probably go back into your account and, and re-issue that upgrade request. And I happen to know that you can issue upgrade requests last minute because here's what happened to me just last week, uh, which is I had a one-night stay at a Marriott. I had uh, I had booked it through Fine Hotels and Resorts in order to get the uh, $100 uh, property credit. And um, I had I had requested a suite upgrade. As time got closer, I got an email from the property, you know, letting us saying, let us know if there's anything you need, if you have any questions. So I wrote back saying, what can asking, what can the credit be used for? I was hoping I could use it for parking and for uh, the destination fee. Found out you could only use it for dining and the reviews of the restaurants at this mm. hotel were not that great. So I wasn't too interested in using it for dining. So, okay. So I, you know, I looked at the, at the rates at that point for booking other ways. I found I could save, um, yeah, I don't remember exactly how much, let's say it was like um, 70 bucks, but even if it was only 50 bucks, I, I was like saving 50 bucks in order, I wouldn't get a hundred bucks, but it was a hundred bucks I didn't want turn actually it. want. So, yeah. so I thought that was a good deal to spend less and not get this, this kind of useless credit. So, um, so I did that and, and, and then on, so I canceled the old one, uh, made the new reservation, applied the sweet, a sweet upgrade. And then the next day, so this is the day I'm checking in, I get a email first that says your sweet upgrade request has been denied. And that turned out was from the, the okay. booking that I Fair canceled. for them to deny that. And a minute minute later, your sweet upgrade request has been approved. <laughs> <laughs> so you were able to resubmit one on the same property, right? So, so you know, very yeah. indirectly, I was resubmitted one by rebooking. by canceling and rebooking. Uh, now I'm all I'm 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 really uh, wondering whether you know was was the first sweet upgrade you know n not approved because I canceled it, which would make sense, or <laughs> Do they have it coded wrong where the later requests are getting priority over newer requests? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, over, sorry, the more recent requests getting priority over the older requests, uh, which is the opposite of how it should work. It should work that the earlier you request it, the higher priority you get, but yeah, I don't know that yeah, that's, that's true. so strange. That's, uh, yeah. Hmm. Who knows? I mean, there's all sorts of different stuff that could be going on there. I also wondered for a moment, do you know, like when they send the email, can you tell which reservation, you probably should tell which reservation number it's under. Cause I was going to say, do you know that? Yeah. Yeah. We check the, sure I checked the reservation number. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so we don't know the answer to Anthony's question is we don't know for sure, but probably, probably I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you resubmit can. it with, yeah. with a different suite type. Um, uh, although, I mean, the other thing you could do is just wait. And so, I guess it depends on how badly you want this suite, right? Because what I was going to say is you could just wait and keep the one for whatever the presidential suite or whatever it is, the suite that you really wanted, keep that on there and let them keep searching every day. Now, if the stay is next week, mm -hmm. I would take a look and see if that room is available. Like, let's start there. Is the room available for, for any of the days? Because it's not point. available for any of the days to reserve. And what are the chances of that? Clearing. Very, very low. Whoever's got it reserved has to cancel, right? So if it's available for like, three out of your four days or something well okay then maybe it's worth hanging on and waiting and seeing but the worst case scenario is it's not going to clear and you get there at check-in and ask if there are any suites and say well i did try to apply a suite upgrade i, I have these suite upgrade awards available uh, can i get a suite now because you can apply those right at check-in right you've had that happen before where or, or at least i know i've heard of people using that as a bargaining chip, um, right it's it's more of a uh, yeah it's more of it, it, the hotel's discretion when i've used it at the hotel it's been more like they recognize that i had tried to apply one and so they sort of escalated the priority of 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 giving me a discretionary upgrade 
So it, it didn't end up that I lost the upgrade certificate when they did that because it wasn't really, you know, uh, it wasn't really right. using the certificate. It was it was more just in in their minds. I think I, you know I don't think there's anything um, formal about it, but in their minds. Yeah, and I, I, and so I guess that's why I said uh, it depends on how how much of a priority the suite is to you because <clears throat> I, I've heard that same type yeah. of story from other people before where they say it's always good to have one as a bargaining chip to mention that you've got this suite upgrade award or you tried to apply the suite upgrade award and it didn't get applied because yeah then I, I think it it won't hurt your chances of getting a discretionary upgrade at the desk now if you feel like that property has for a sure. reputation for not upgrading people or you really want a suite and you're willing to take that lower end suite if you don't get the the high one right off the bat then it might make sense to go and do exactly what you're saying cancel your request and resubmit uh with you know, saying that you take yeah now back to though what i was saying before it's supposed to work that the mm. that the the earlier you put in the request the higher priority your request uh, so, will have if it in fact works that way there's true. a downside to doing that's this, true oh, so about. there's a lot of strategy to be had with these sweet upgrades <laughs> and there is with everybody having them now and, and the problem is we don't have any like hard, real yeah. data. You know, we have these anecdotes right. like I was telling and and so we don't really know what no, works. And, and, what and it's hard work. to ever know that because of the way that these work. And, you know, there just seems to be so much gray area. I think that even with a lot of data points, it would be hard to know because it would still vary from property to property quite a bit and how they do it. So, uh, right. so long story short, um, best of luck to you, Anthony. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> so that was our question of the week. <laughs> this is like, like usual. We're, we're guessing. We're grasping at straws here, Anthony. What do you want? We, 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 I, should, I should just record a standard answer to the question of the week. Yeah. That's like, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good you know, there's a lot of gray area in this game. A lot of those things that are like, ah, how, how good is your social engineering? You know, <laughs> that's that's where a lot of these come out. But uh, you know, it's, what's sad is people come to us for advice. <laughs> <and all stuff. laughs> keep coming, keep coming for advice. Don't listen to this guy. Don't listen to him. He's he's, he's being too honest again. See, we don't know <laughs> what we're talking about. <laughs> We can't answer a single question. <laughs> all right, question. all right. So that, my friends, I think brings us to the end, the goodbye song for the day. So I want to thank you guys for being here with us, just like we thanked you earlier. If you'd like to hear more about what we're talking about, you want to get alerted of our posts, know what deals are going on, blah, blah, blah. Follow us on social media, all those things. You want to go to frequentmiler.com slash subscribe. Again, that's frequentmiler.com slash subscribe to get on our email list so you can see all the posts and follow us on social media. We promise no shortage, no shortage of blah, blah, blah. There'll be a lot blah, blah. of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, plenty yeah, of that right. and more. Particularly good at the blah, blah, blah <laughs> stuff. So if you want more of that, that's where you go for it. <laughs> All right. That's where you go. We'll see All you right. guys again next week. <laughs> Bye, everybody.